DWI is my character to sell Tupperware. Uh, Dee's a little trailer trash. She's uh, not very classy. Um, she kind of can talk like a truck driver. Her, her look is just, it's, it's out there. It's loud and it's out there. I'm like a clown. But she's, she's fun loving and uh, she likes to have a good time. If Susie Hostess says she's having a Tupperware party, chances are all our girlfriends are like, oh, really? You know, I just went to a jewelry party last week and now I gotta go to a clothing party next week. But then when they see the picture of DWI, then all the girls are like, oh my God, you know, I gotta go to that. Oh God, how exciting! Okay, we'll get started in just a second, y'all. Are y'all drinking? Because I'm prettier when you're drunk. Woo! Her character is from Tennessee, and she was the last sole heir to the Jack Daniels fortune. So uh, she had a little drinking problem. So DWI is really driving while intoxicated. How fun is that? It's incredible. So I grew up here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, went to Centennial High School. Then I went to Miami University of Ohio. I worked as an actor for about 10 years in Chicago. I got cast on an episode of Frasier, which took me out to Los Angeles. I played David Hyde Pierce's lookalike on an episode. Oh, everyone, this is Rodney Banks. Oh. Oh. Uh, Dr. Niles Craig? Uh, how do you do? The pleasure is mine. Uh, so that took me to Los Angeles, and then I started working as an actor pretty nonstop. And uh, then I started selling Tupperware, and it just took off. Before we get started, I want to do a little survey. Now, how many of us have ever been to a Tupperware party before? Raise your hands. Very good, quite a few of us. Was it a Tupperware party like this? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> 2007 to 2010, I was number one in, in the nation. So four years in a row, I sold more Tupperware than, personally, than anybody else in the nation. And then I started making more money doing this than I ever did as an actor. And I'm like, well, shoot, I don't want to live in Hollywood anymore. They have earthquakes and crazy people. So I decided to move home here two years ago. So now I'm back and I live in Powell. Woo! Oh, my God! I know! I'm a Buckeye! I think, really, uh, Tupperware has grown to embrace uh, the drag queen aspect. Because there are other guys who sell in drag. I'm not the only one. Um, we are actually bringing Tupperware to a whole new uh, generation of people who don't even know that Tupperware is still around. And we do it with such an entertaining uh, aspect to our show that, um, <laughs> that people just find it more fun. All right, pickles and cheese, zucchini and carrot, season and serve some fine taste and ferret. Your food has never tasted so fresh to date, right? Okay. I would say that 95% of the people come to see DWI and then they buy the Tupperware afterwards. Tupperware corporate is really on board with what we do because we're selling more product than half of their sales force. But there are people who don't understand what I do. And that makes me sad because I'm an actor who dresses up as a character. I come as Kevin, I get dressed up as Dee at your house, and I take Dee off and I leave your house as Kevin because I don't drive around town in drag. And I don't go to the shopping stores as Dee, I don't hang out and go to the zoo as Dee. It is a character that I put on and a character I take off, uh, much like any character in a live uh, play at the theater. The business side of my business is huge because I average four to five parties a week. So um, if I'm not working, I'm in my office, I'm calling hostesses to confirm their dates, I'm dating new parties, I'm entering all the orders. Um, sometimes things don't show up in shipments, so I'm calling you know, the warehouse to make sure that, that orders are fulfilled. You know, when I moved to Los Angeles, I thought I was going to be this big time television actor, I was going to have my own show, I was going to have this huge house in Beverly Hills, and uh, it was all based on being an entertainer. Well, what happened is I got exactly what I wanted, but it just came in a different package, which is amazing. Uh, come up and touch and feel the Tupperware included, all right? And uh, <laughs> I just wanted to be a paid actor. Now, my paycheck comes from Tupperware. It doesn't come from NBC or CBS or Showtime. I'm selling just as much here as I was in Los Angeles. Uh, there is really a need for a drag queen Tupperware lady in Columbus, Ohio. I love the fact that that 20 year olds to 90 year olds can come to my parties and have a good time. I really just want to entertain people and for them to have a good time. As I said, my name is DWI, Miss Tennessee. Woo!
the FedEx man is here <laughs> to deliver Tupperware. Tupperware. <laughs>